test is a really good uh, kind of example of why it's really important to meet face to face as well. Um, I've been to South by Southwest Interactive for two years running now. It's probably the largest tech conference um, in the world. Um, it's held in Austin, Texas every March. Um, I'm sure some of you probably know more about it already, but um, originally it's a music festival. It then sort of diversified into film as well, and now interactive. Big interactive has been going for about nine years. I'm not sure. I think it's possibly probably about nine years now. Um, but you get 3,000 people from across the world congregating in Austin, Texas, which is a fantastic place to be anyway. I mean, what a great place to go and spend for the week. Um, but you know, you think, well, why do conferences like this attract so many people, particularly an online community, if they can network online and, and share information online and read everything they need to online? It's because there's nothing better than having a group of people together and really discussing that and debating that and having that live interaction. Um, and I think that's a great example of you know why that's so important. Um, and just a bit of a story, I, I went over this year with a delegation of about 30 companies from the West Midlands. Um, we kind of all knew each other vaguely. We might have bumped into each other before in Birmingham and had the old chat. Um, but it kind of took taking us all over to the other side of the world to go to a conference for a week to actually cement some of those relationships. And I'm now working on behalf of one of the companies that I went out to Texas with. Um, because we've got that experience of kind of sharing and discussing and debating, um, I think sometimes kind of taking you out of your own kind of context and putting you somewhere else means you're more open to ideas. You get to know people really well. Um, and so we went out to South by Southwest in March. I stayed in touch with this company through Twitter and email and obviously you know, bumping into them now again. And that's now resulted in some new business for us. Um, I don't know if that would have happened if we hadn't had the opportunity to stay in touch online. So that's where I'm saying it to kind of work for me, work really well to really important. And that's it. <coughs> Um, but I mean, Birmingham's famous for being quite a sort of creative online people in the city. How much of Birmingham's vibe has helped your business? Could it have worked in other cities, for example? Um, yeah, I mean, when I think back, when I initially set up, it was more around the creative industries, so um, not necessarily kind of the online communities, but around creative. And I, I did that for a reason, which was because I thought Birmingham had a really well-networked creative sector. And that's where we've gone to with Neon, really. So I was able to kind of take that formula and, and bring it um, to Rewired. So, you know, I would say, I'm not sure it would have worked anywhere else for me because I think it was down to connections that I'd already made. I think if I tried to set up a company in Bristol, which equally has a fantastic creative sector, I don't think I'd have been successful because I didn't have those networks. Or it might have taken me a long, long time to build it up. Um, I had the opportunity to move quite quickly because I'd kind of got those networks already. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just going to make, I, th I think Birmingham was a, had a very well connected creative sector anyway, mm -hmm. you know, the, the online four grounds in a bit, I think, that's yeah. all that, in my, my opinion, because I think you were probably as well networked, um, you know, two years ago when we were probably less yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, than you are now, but it does facilitate some stuff, doesn't it, because it, it, does. it keeps your company in the foreground, yeah. you know, certainly in that, within that. I think community. it just speeds up those connections, you yeah. know, it can take, I mean, we used to talk in my old agency and at Willoughby about, it could take a year or two years to, for a new prospect to kind of pay off, because you'd have to put in all that legwork, meetings, you know, try and build up a new business connection, you wouldn't expect to win an account really for a year, and, and I think it is really, for a small business especially, it's really kind of squashed that time and, and made it a lot more um, achievable to kind of pick up projects a, a lot more quickly. Um, where do you see your business going from here? So obviously you, you, you're working quite a lot in Birmingham now. What are the plans? Yeah, I mean the next step for me is absolutely maintain what we've got in Birmingham and the region, but break out of it. Um, you know, the business is 18 months old now. Yeah. Really proud of where we've, what we've achieved and what the team have achieved, but um, I've got you know quite ambitious plans to grow, and I, I want to break out of the West Midlands, so we've got more of a national perspective. And I feel confident now that we've got the client base to be able to do that. But I, I really feel that when you're starting a new business, or for me anyway, I wanted to focus quite um, narrowly, I suppose, on what we were doing, because there's three people and there's one person to start off with, there's only so much <coughs> So I think I've got that kind of basis now and I'm, I'm looking over the next two to three years to try and build on that. Just on, on that point, um, 
And the idea of the networks mm -hmm. and what you just said about if you'd started in Bristol, it would have taken yeah. a lot longer. Of course, you know, Birmingham and the West Midlands is a smallish community once you're plugged in. Yeah. Um, It'll be a big challenge. Yeah, so you've yes. got to put some strategies into Absolutely. developing all those networks face to face online. Yeah. I mean, that's um, something else that I couldn't have done until I had a team to have the time to do it. So my role you know, as MD now should be going out and starting to it's make those connections. Yeah. So um, I feel that we've got, to, we've got to the point where I can start to do that. But interesting, I was just yesterday talking to another business that's probably about five years ahead of where mine is now, and they said that it's a really interesting period because you, know, you can feel like you're really well connected and you've got some great contacts here and things are you know, not easy, but relatively easy to pick up and to win. And when you decide to make that next step, it's a really hard slog because you're suddenly out of that and you're, you are cold calling and knocking mm. on doors. But that's where I'm hoping that you know online will help me again start to make those initial connections that I can then follow up um, again for me going to events outside of Birmingham. But at least I may know a few people first and what their interests are, which will help to kind of make sure I'm talking to other people. I have a, uh, a question um, about you mentioned at the beginning about uh, sort of actually meeting people outside the creative mm. field. I mean, how important is that more important now than I than ever been, or is there a sort of ghetto type thing that is really important? For me, of? it's really important, not just for me, but for my clients as well, because, um, you know, a lot of creative companies <coughs> are, they might be looking for. Um, support from the professional community, either financially or to get those audiences to come to say some of their events. So you need, I think you need to have a wider um, overview of what's happening in Birmingham, what's happening in the city. So things like Birmingham Future for me, give me the opportunity to know politically what's happening in Birmingham and what else is going on, which kind of gives you the um, background and the context for the, where your clients are working and what they're doing. Um, so I think it's, you know, I think it's really, really important. And as an agency, you know, one of the things we try and do for clients is bridge that gap a little bit. They might not know who they need to speak to to make sure that um, their event is going to get the right audience in or that they're going to have political support for what they're doing. So you know, we try and, and kind of bridge that gap slightly. And also I just think it's good to get out of your own comfort zone occasionally and just realise there is another world outside of the creative industries and there are other things going on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.